everyone! Today we're at Nandimun Shijang in Korea, or otherwise known as Nandimun Market. Let's get some good eats. And first, we're gonna try this place called Hyojaseon Wangmanju, otherwise known as Hyojaseon King Dumpling. Looks like there's some fried manju here. This is the jimbang. There's an assortment of dumplings as well. This one looks like kimchi manju looks really good. I think I'm gonna order one of those. Kimchi manju hana hagoya, so wangmanju hana juseyo. So we ordered some mandu from Hyoja Son Mandu. So this is fried, and then we got two steamed kimchi wang mandu, and then we got two of the kogi mandu, so that means meat. So I'm really excited to try it. We're just gonna open up this kimchi mandu. Oh my gosh, so much filling. That looks so good, and it smells incredible. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> my first mandu in Korea. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Wow, oh my gosh, you have to try this. And my husband is gonna try the fried manju or tiki manju. Wow, sounds so crunchy. What's in it? Is it, oh yeah, it's kogi and a bunch of herbs. Yum. Is it everything you thought it would be? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna open up this kogi manju. Oh my freaking gosh. <gasps> you can see a lot of like different herbs in there and plenty of kogi. I can't wait to try it. All right, let's try the kogi mandu. How does it taste? Mm. Oh my gosh. That was so good. <laughs> Two thumbs up. So well, I think what sets this mandu apart is not only the filling. So the filling is super flavorful for both the kimchi and kogi mandu, but it really is this bun. It just has the perfect texture. It's soft and fluffy and isn't too thick to where it's overwhelming. It's just the perfect balance. Also, I think I ordered this one oh, on hot. accident. Oh, it's hot? Yeah. Oh, it's warm. I try opening up. Oh man, yeah, it's red bean. So I'm not a huge fan of red bean, but you know, they said that this one's famous, so I picked it up. I didn't know what I ordered, but I know a lot of people are fans of red bean. So let me show you a quick cross section of this and maybe I can get my husband to try it. <laughs> what do you think? Mm. This is called Tung Tung Kimbap and Namdamun Shijang. They're known for their wide variety of kimbap. It's pretty cool because I think they even have an English menu. If you go to language, yeah, we can pick English and now we can pick which one we want to get. And after you order, you're given a number and you just wait until they call it. But while we do, I'm thinking I'll pick up some of the things that we might need. And you can also get some complimentary odeng soup on the side. Isn't that amazing? Whoa. Yeah, I know, it shocked me. It's so good and it's spicy. Okay, we just found a spot to eat at. <laughs> Whoa. Heavy. Oh, is it heavy? Whoa, this is so big. Like it's like fat. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, which one should we start off with first? Here comes the reveal. This is the premium team fat. Oh my freaking goodness, this is unreal. So packed to the brim. It has like ugochi, like super healthy vegetable, it's egg, marinated rice, and like a bunch of other things that honestly I don't even know, but I can't wait to try it. Just look at that cross section. It's straight up glistening. It looks so good. And there's just minimal rice, so I just know that this is going to be packed with flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Tasty? Mm-hmm. Wow. That's heaven. <laughs> so the premium kimbap. I didn't even notice there wasn't even meat in it. Honestly, whatever this flavor combination, it is genius, and you have to try to get this one. Cheers. Mm. We're gonna try the anchovy one. And by the way, while I'm opening this, I just wanted to say that like, we did get some unique flavors that are really popular here, kind of on purpose, but they also have like the regular like uh, spam and oh my gosh, this is so heavy. Spam, tuna, and like, you know, the other regular flavors that everyone loves and knows the kimbap. So feel free to order what you like, but I can't wait to try this one. And holy kamoli, there's the anchovy kimbap. Oh my freaking gosh. Look at that end piece. Looks like we have a perilla leaf, some burdock root, carrots, tamuji, and it looks like egg. My husband's gonna try the end piece. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> how was it? Is it good? Okay, here we go. Ooh, I'm gonna pull this one off. Wow, oh my gosh. Wait, I have to show you close up here. There's so much anchovy and it looks like it's like spicy anchovy. Okay, cool. Back to the bite. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. That was so good. And really unique. I think what surprises me the most is how uniquely different this one is from the premium kimbap. I thought they were all gonna kind of taste similar, but this one has like sweet and savory notes, where the other one was mainly savory and spicy. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm. We found the Kaguksu Alley that's located inside this Shijang. It's really hard to find, so I'm gonna show you where it is. Let's go. Okay, so we are at Tanin Kaguksu stall. This has been on our bucket list for a while now, and we're just so excited. So she said that set number two is actually the most popular because it comes to Puribap, Kaguksu, and Nengmyo. But for us, we're just a little bit full after eating all of the other food today. So we're gonna go with number one, which has Kaguksu and Nengmyo, which is knife cut noodles and cold buckwheat noodles. She just served this to us. We have some young, fresh radish kimchi and some Napa cabbage kimchi. And the kaigoksu came out, and oh my gosh, this looks so good. Wow, you can just smell that anchovy broth. Also, the herbs, like, it's so fragrant. We haven't even tried a bite yet, and I can already smell what it's gonna taste like. My husband's gonna try the broth first. Let me know how it is. So good. And they have this nice red chili paste that she mentioned would be really, really hot. Plenty of seaweed and just, just so many noodles. And I can already tell that that texture is just gonna be just perfect. All of these noodles. Whoa. Mm. So good. Mm. Right? Let's try the soup too. I love how they have seaweed in it. I'm a huge fan. Oh my god. That's heaven. That's so good. It's like, it's definitely an anchovy broth and it has a lot of spice in it as well. It's got these little peppers in it too. Oh yeah, that's probably what makes it really spicy. But it's really good. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. I like how the noodles here are really rustic. They're not like super uniform, but it kind of adds a nice texture. Mmm. So good. Mmm. The soup is so good. Mmm. 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 good karbuksu. And they actually also gave us a little naengmyeon as a part of the set here. We're gonna try this out. And pro tip, I messed up on this one, but she mentioned that you should eat the naengmyeon right when it comes out. I was just so busy eating the karbuksu, I didn't even notice, but this comes with the meal as well. Mmm. The naengmyeon noodles has like this gochujang stuff on it, so it's like more like heaving naengmyeon. Yeah, these buckwheat noodles are so good. I love how delicate they are. They're like super thin, but they do have a nice chew to it as all buckwheat noodles do. Mm. So bomb, oh my gosh, seriously. The salt is out of this world. So good. Success at the Kaigutsu stalls. It's as good as we thought it would be. All right, and we're just walking through Nandimu and Shijang. There's just a lot of like toys and like sock store where they have like, ooh, Totoro socks and that kind of thing for like a dollar. Korean souvenir shop full of like a lot of cultural and traditional goods. And huge alleyways just full of clothes to shop from. <laughs> but honestly for us, we just come here for the food. 